are gonna draw Valentine's Cupid. Everyone now, here we go. I think what we're gonna start with is the head. So let's round around, cause Cupid's a big fat plumper, isn't he? So there's his ear, and let's outline, we'll frame his face with some hair. Perfect. Again, we're all semicircles here. Come on down, and we'll make a nice big little cheek form right around there. And connect. There we go. There's the outline of his face. And then we can bring our nose down. A big plump nose for him. And let's make give him a little wink. How about that? As if he's squinting one way. There we go. We can color that in. Because his eyes shut, isn't it? Perfect. And let's draw a second eye now. This is the eye he'll be peeping with. So let's make it big and wide with a big iris and a nice pupil there with some highlights in it. Lovely. Now color it in black, the pupil that is. Nice. Okay, next we can move on to the mouth. A big smile for him, but he's got to be concentrating now. So let's give him a tongue up like he's really got something that he's really trying to pinpoint. All right, that looks good. Now we can go down and we're gonna create his arm. So down from his shoulder to his elbow and now the inside here, lovely. Continue that along and now we're gonna make his hand here. So we're gonna have it so he's holding his bow one, two, three fingers and connect that to his wrist. Lovely. The string from his bow here. There we go. And now we can continue here with the actual bow. So let's make it all swirly like. I like that swirly bow. Bring it all down like a big S. And at the bottom here, we'll do the complete opposite, a backwards S from the bottom. And we can bring it on up, but don't join them yet because his other hand has to hit there, holding that bow. So let's bring his arm out. There we go. And now we can continue with some fingers that will be holding that bow. One two and three and then the hand is out and connect it back to his body behind his head as if his shoulder is up behind him now bring the body down let it be his tummy perfect now we can draw the outside of the bow Fill it all in. There we are. I like that. Swirly around and we'll color that in all black like. I like that. Give him a bit of a thumb there. Mm -hmm. There's his back. And from there, we can continue along with his waistline. And from there, we can continue with a diaper. Up around. And his bum. And that will be his first leg. Going out, there's his calf. And his heel. Right down. And we can give him some toes. One. Two. Three. And four. I like that. And now we can continue to join that up to his knee. Big fat foot for Cupid. Bring it on down for his diaper. And we'll make it all fluffy like with a big diaper pin here. And a 
fluffy bottom. Oh, I like it. Now we can continue with his other leg. Stroll down there. There we go, two lines down. And his foot at the bottom here. Another four toes, just for fun. One, two, three, four. I like it. And his heel. From here we can continue on the top with his hair. Let's make it all curly like. Oh, I like that. Little fluffs and tufts all over the place. Joining around. Another semicircle. A curly cue. Another curly cue around. Lovely. And now we can fill in his eyebrows. One highly concentrating and two wide and open I like it and now his ear finish off his ear I like that too and now we can go down to his wings one two three and four feathers for those wing and a second wing on his other arm that was all coming out of his back one two three and four looking good a little belly button Now we can draw the arrow. There we go. Those will be the feathers for the arrow. And we can join those up. Going through his little fingers, holding on with the bow, out the other side. And let's draw a beautiful upside down heart for our bow and arrow. Oh, that's so nice. Black in the arrow. Mm -hmm. And then we can color in the actual bow. Black it in. Squeaky squeak. And now we're all ready for color. His skin tone, yellow for his hair, pink for his tongue and the heart arrow, blue for his wings and eye, gray for his diaper and the feathers on the arrow.